वेलकम टू प्रीफेब्रिकेटेड स्ट्रक्चर्स मॉड्यूल टू सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल बी सीइंग रिलेटेड टू प्रीफेब्रिकेटेड कॉलम्स सो व्हाट आर द प्रीफेब्रिकेटेड कॉलम्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन इन डिटेल सम पार्ट ऑफ द प्रीफेब्रिकेटेड कॉलम्स लेट अस सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो many types of columns available in prefabricated system so there are so many types we can have uh, any part of manufacturing how the grooves are provided on the required faces to keep in the wall in the positions that all will be coming these grooves will act as a part of a column and since the area of column has been increased due to nibs will give additional moment carrying so there will be a additional nibs which will be there which can take a extra moment which can be carried by them in the load carrying capacity of the column at the same time this grooves will give a mild ornamental look to our building ornamental look means we can say they can be able to see like a olden type of structures which can be easily viewed in this particular things <coughs> this is a normal column wherein the reinforcements are of the uh, another column will be embedded in this and the particular joint will be made so this is one column another this second column so we can see at this particular section the reinforcements are allowed and these reinforcements will be going into another column so similarly this column reinforcements are inside this particular column like this uh provisions will be provided wherein the column bars reinforcements are inserted and they will be mortared with the cement mortaring wherein the joints will be confirmed for the particular columns so column in the concrete column part so a precast concrete column elements are 1 2 3 stories high so we can take up to 3 story high of the columns the reinforced concrete floor slab fit the clear span between the column spans so whatever the columns are provided the slabs has to be taken from not center to center from the clear to clear span of the particular columns after erecting the slab and column of a story the columns and floor slabs are prestressed by means of prestressing tendons so there will be a connections as the <coughs> reinforcements are provided holes will be there so in this particular this part of the particular holes whatever we are able to see here if we require the particular slabs so these are embedded with the prestressing reinforcement tendons that pass through the ducts in the columns so these are the ducts which are provided in the columns at the floor level and along the gaps left between adjacent slab are fitted in situ concrete and the tendons then become as a bonded with the spans so these are the nibs which we can see them as a ornamental look or an old look old look why we say because the earlier times the stone columns whichever were constructed for the particular temple constructions or any kind of the things which are provided we can see these type of some structures the supporting structures for the slabs in the stone constructions that type of stone constructions will be easily done in this particular precast columns and we can have a good architectural look for the columns and the whole building itself also and further part for the precast column is a prestressing slab column consists using horizontal prestressing in two orthogonal directions to achieve continuity so we have to take a continuity means there will be a moment action the moment action can be acting in that particular format we have to understand how the moment action will be there so if a column is here so in this particular column uh, slab will be from here slab will be from here so if i say this into a particular plan the column will be like this and on this side there is no particular slab so we are having a slab at this particular edge and a slab also within this particular edge so this is again one part of the beam so we can see the embedded part of reinforcements will be provided in this direction as well as in this direction when the particular reinforcements are provided from the outside part to this inside to get the 
continuity or the monolithic construction they are cut here and bolted with the bolt connections seismic loads are RS, uh, resisted mainly by the shear walls so uh, shear walls are cast in the place itself position between the columns at the appropriate locations so whenever the rain, earthquake or some wind loads are going to act so seismic loads will be divided into two types which is one called as wind load and one more is called as the earthquake load so we can say that these two seismic loads will be acting for mainly a high rise structure buildings so to have that in the appropriate positions we need to have the columns with the correct part of shear walls also so these are the particular edges which were as the precast things we can see a columns are placed then the beams are placed and above that the slab is also placed so now we can easily say that this is a particular type of a structure and somewhat a wall is able to see here this is we call it as a one type of a shear wall but at the base they may not be provided with the shear walls only in terms of lifts opening means whatever the lift passage we are having the opening lift passages there we can see the particular shear walls precast column further part this is what we can see in the construction part how the particular uh, construction things are laid down on the ground they will not be attached so we can see this particular nib will be providing a support of a slab and also we can see this is a temporary support and this here it is a permanent support why it is a permanent support means here we can see there is not more much embedded inside the particular uh, column so this is on the outside section but whereas when we come to a upper uh, story we can see this is the particular part of nib which will be provided and takes a load only the column will be of this much reinforcement so this was one design it is not appropriate that we have to maintain only four reinforcements it comes depending upon the design how we are going to design the particular part of columns so this is about a uh, two story buildings we can easily have that and these openings are nothing but such that these openings will be for the placement of column uh, slab or beams so wherein they will be resting on these nibs and it will be uh, having a uh, connections of pre-trust tendons as usually many types of columns available in the prefabricated system grooves are provided with the required faces to keep the walls in positions so these are called as a grooves or a nibs so that types will be we can taking the same time grooves will be have a mild ornamental look so this is the mild ornamental look for the our building and the design how the particular reinforcements will be taking place we can easily see this this part is only a column so you may be having a confusion how to design this part so reinforcement provisions will be in this particular structure wherein the loads are able to take by the particular column otherwise the column will not be able to take the loads the particular longitudinal reinforcement is continued whereas some part of the reinforcement where we can say there the moment connections will be made as a zero and the further continuity of the reinforcements is taken place thank you see you in the next video